What's up? This is Jack T. Jones from HowToGetAGirlfriend.org and today we're going to be talking about why women love men who are risk takers. Today we're going to cover the topic of risk and how it is a huge benefit to your life. Risk, the more risk, the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. If you're feeling lethargic, depressed, indifferent, unmotivated in your life, it's probably because you are not taking enough risk. Now, it, it goes without saying, but we'll say risk means within the, within the brackets of not hurting yourself or hurting others. All right? So calculated risk. Here's the mistake that most people make in their lives. They take risk and they put it all the way back there. So they do everything, they try to do everything safely in a safe, guaranteed manner, the safest way to do everything. And then finally, when all options are out, then they'll take a risk. That formula will lead you to failure. It will lead you to being lethargic, depressed, unmotivated, and ultimately just completely indifferent to life. So what do successful people do? Successful people take risk and boom, put it right in front of their face. All right? They seek out risk. Here's the secret. Here's the secret of life. Life does not start until you put something at risk. So, a lot of you, if you're, if you're missing that, that vitality, that feeling of aliveness, that enthusiasm, it's because you have nothing at risk. Okay? So when it comes to women, if you're approaching the whole topic of women in a way where I'm going to try to avoid the most risk possible, well then you're not going to be successful with women and you're not going to enjoy seducing women, talking to women, hitting on women. Okay? The secret is to seek out that risk because the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward in all senses. So you need to, t successful people take risk and put it right in front of them. So what is risk? Risk is a commitment. Stating, speaking out boldly, loudly, clearly, strongly. This is what I'm committed to doing. All right? So a risk could be making a commitment that I'm going to start asking out the most beautiful woman I see. That's a big risk. That's scary. You're risking your ego. You're risking getting rejected, you're risking all these things. But that's when you start feeling alive because what does risk do? It wakes you up. It makes you, it, you know, it fills you up with adrenaline. It fills you up with excitement, anticipation. That thing that you feel that's fear, well, you can look at it another way. It could be anticipation, right? I see that girl over there. I want to approach her. Oh, I'm feeling all these emotions. Okay, yeah, that's making you aware. Heightened awareness, a heightened state of awareness, of aliveness. Risk equals aliveness, all right? So take that risk and put it right in front of you, okay? So life, your life doesn't start until you have made, until you have made a commitment to put something significant at risk. Be it your money, starting a business, be it your ego, going and asking someone out, be it your emotions, uh, whatever it is, you need to put things at risk if you want to live. All right? And not just go through the motions. Like, eh, how are you? Oh, I'm good. And yourself? Oh, I'm not bad. All right? Everybody's like this these days. Hey, what's up? Nothing. Oh, what'd you do today? Oh, you know. All right? They're not alive because they're, they have nothing at risk. Okay? So, again, I'm repeating over and over. A risk is a commitment to something. Something that is important to you. Something that has a potential of not working out. Something that's going to, you're, you're going to have to do when you don't feel like it. All right, so I think that's all I needed to say about that. If I remember anything else, I'll add to it later. But why am I wearing these gloves? Because today I am putting something at risk. Today, I'm going to make a commitment in front of you. I am going to do 90 push-ups every day for the next year. For years and years, I've been inconsistent in my working out and it's been really pissing me off. 
All right? So I'm going to put at risk, I'm going to put my word at risk by stating publicly that I'm going to do push-ups every single day for, I'm going to do 90 push-ups every single day, every single morning for the next year. And I invite you to join me. The reason I invite you to join me because these, this commitment, this year-long commitment to doing push-ups every day is like an anchor. It's like no matter what goes wrong in the rest of your day, in the rest of your year, in the rest of your life, you have this commitment anchoring you down so you know that you are consistent with something. Okay, confidence can be transferred from one thing to another. So, you, we need to build the muscle of commitment. And this is an opportunity to do it together because I have not been committed to doing exercise properly. All right, I have been breaking my word with myself for years on exercising properly because I always want to exercise properly. So, I'm publicly making a commitment, putting my word at risk that I'm going to do push-ups every single morning for the next 365 days. And as long as I have an internet connection, as you guys know I travel a lot, but as long as I have an internet connection, I'm going to post these videos so that you can do the push-ups together with me. And while we're doing the push-ups, I'll give you some tips, some motivation, and we'll do this together. All right? So, just, and the most important thing is don't put whatever you want to do, start it today. Because tomorrow is never. The only thing that exists is right now, right this moment. So if you make a commitment with me right now to do push-ups for the next year, then let's get to it. So we're going to do three sets of 30 push-ups every single morning for the next year. If you want to come with me or if you want to do it for 30 days or 90 days. But put something at risk. Put your word at risk. All right? And if you can't do 30, do 20. If you can't do push-ups properly, do them on your knees. All right? So let's get to it. Day one of 365 days of 90 push-ups a day. Let's go. Okay, so that's one set. We'll rest a couple minutes and do two more sets. If you're still with me and watching this video, another thing that's very common is we wait until everything's perfect before we start something. The reason why I'm sharing this commitment with you is that it's very hard to make an excuse of doing push-ups every day because you always have a floor and you always have 10 minutes to spare. Always. All right? Uh, another thing, I've been sick for two weeks. I'm still sick. And I've been putting, making, putting off this video waiting to get better, but it, it seems like I'm not gonna get better soon because I have some kind of allergy and I can't, I don't know what the allergy is. So I'm sick, sick. But you know what, you gotta start. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Excuses are for losers, and at the end of the day, at the end of your life, those excuses aren't gonna keep you warm. You're just gonna be filled with regret. So, whatever you wanna do, you gotta do it. Whew, as you see, I'm pretty out of shape because you, 30 push-ups should be nothing for me. All right, second set, you ready? See, I can't even do it. Uh. 
Okay, you see I'm already running again, running into uh, challenges. I used to be able to do three sets of 30 like that, but because I've been out of shape, I had to go down to my knees to do it. So I'm putting something at risk, maybe looking silly. Oh look, he can't even do what he just said he was gonna do. Putting something at risk. Oh, right now I'm really worried that I told you that I'm gonna do this for a year so now I have to stick to it. I've never been consistent with exercise for more than, I think, four months straight. So I'm worried, so there's a risk, there's that emotional conflict within me. Oh, what if, what if, what if, right? But I'm already feeling good because I have something at risk. And that means I have a commitment, all right? A man, a man's life is a mission. And a mission only exists when there's something at risk. So if you're living a life and you have nothing at risk, that means you're not on a mission. You don't have a purpose, therefore you're not gonna feel alive. You're not gonna feel excited and enthusiastic and joyful, all right? You're gonna feel always conflicted and in fear and uh, indifferent to life. So this, this is good. I hope, I hope a lot of you guys join me because I got a lot of ideas. We can post pictures before and after, we can, uh, you know, maybe make a special Facebook page for us and motivate each other. All right? Okay, last set. Woo! Oh, much harder than I expected. Ten more. <laughs> ah. <sighs> I'm gonna do mini ones. Okay, so there you have it. Sometimes putting things at risk leads to embarrassment, which is cool, right? Because the thing that's more important than what people think of you is what you're committed to no matter what all right no matter what and why the title of this video women love risk takers because a risk taker is a man who has purpose and direction in his life he knows what he wants and he goes after what he wants at all cost regardless of whatever anyone thinks of him regardless of what anyone says of him regardless of any discouragement. He believes in himself, he's committed, and he will do whatever it takes to get it done, no matter where he's starting from. All right? So this is Jad T. Jones from howtogetagirlfriend.org. I really think I'm gonna be sore tomorrow, which is gonna suck, but uh, the commitment has been made. I hope you join me on this journey. All right, peace.